Live from the Script Studios, this is San Diego's news source, 10 News. And there are plenty of smiles on the faces of San Diego military families this midday. Just look at those faces. Hundreds of sailors back with their loved ones after eight long months with the USS Tennis Strike Group. 10 News reporter Marie Coronel has been at NAS North Island since 4.30 this morning covering their arrival. She's live with more on what they did while they were deployed overseas. Marie. Well, Bill, about 30 minutes ago, you saw this huge crowd of family and friends waiting for their sailors to get off that ship. It has quieted down now, and we're seeing more sailors walking away with their loved ones. As the USS Dennis pulled into port, the crowd of family and friends welcomed them with signs and flags. After eight long months, the Stennis Strike Group made it back home. The group, which also consists of the USS Mobile Bay, was supporting Operation Enduring Freedom and training with other navies from around the world. They deployed four months early last September as tension rose in the Gulf. It was part of the military's plan to keep two ships in the Persian Gulf. Hours before, the squadron landed at NAS North Island. One by one, they got the hugs and kisses they too have been waiting for, returning to proud families. You know, the fact that he protects our country, it just makes everything worth it. It makes him worth it. It makes the waiting worth it. Now, another part of the strike group, the USS Mobile Bay, that will return later this afternoon. And now that the support crew from the USS Dennis has been dropped off, she will return to her home port in Washington. We're live from NAS North Island, Marie Cornell, 10 News.